everyone, so today I wanted to do a kind of overview video talking to you about a bunch of different kind of oil based products. Now they're not all exactly the same, some kind of really vary, but basically just oil based products for different types of your, different types, different parts of your body and what they do. So I'm going to start off with oil um, cleansers first of all. And the first one I've got right here is my favourite makeup remover at the moment. I've been using this for a really long time. And this is the Body Shop Chamomile Silky Cleansing Oil. And I use this to remove all my face makeup. So I take my eye makeup off using an eye makeup remover and then use this all over my face and it breaks down makeup so well. And that's the beauty of using an oil cleanser. And I think a lot of people kind of really shy away from doing that, especially if you've got oily skin because you think it's gonna aggravate it even more and you think that it's gonna break you out and things like that, but nothing breaks down makeup better than oil and it just makes your skin feel really soft, it doesn't strip your skin and I actually find that when I use things like this, my skin tends to be less oily. So I really, really like this. It comes with a pump, I just put a generous pump on my hand, massage it all over my face and then remove it with a flannel. And then I've got two cleansing balms here and you might think, balms, how are they in oil? But as soon as you rub them in, they kind of do turn into an oil texture. The first one is the very famous um, Boots Botanics Organic Cleansing Balm. Now the um, thing about this is this is the old packaging. I have been told that the new version is also a different formula. I haven't tried it because I had a couple of these um, left because I used to really like it. But if I get a little bit out to show you, you can see that it's kind of a thick balm texture. So it's kind of very thick. And then once you start to rub it in, I'll just rub it in the back of my hand here, you can see it starts to kind of melt into a type of oil. So you can see kind of my hand's really oily there. I'm gonna to have to um, go and wipe that in a minute. But really, really great. And again, takes makeup off really well and really great if you've got oily skin because it doesn't leave a residue. And then the second one I've got that I really love is the Ren um, Number One Purity Cleansing Balm. You can see I've got through this quite a bit. And this is a similar concept. Great, great cleansing um, balm that turns into a nice oil. This is a little bit softer, a little bit more oily than the Boots Botanics one, but a really great choice if you want to get into using um, kind of quite natural skincare and you want to use an oil cleanser but you don't want to put a straight on oil on your face like a body shop one because you don't feel too comfortable with that. Something like this is a great and Next up we stop. have facial oils and again very intimidating if you have got oily skin and you don't feel like um, you want to go and put a load of oil on your skin but actually there are a lot of people that kind of believe in the theory that like and like kind of act better and that it's great for your skin. I'm not totally sure that it kind of works because of that but I find for my skin using an oil is very effective. And I've got a couple here. The first one, which is probably my favourite ever, is the Balance Me Radiance Face Oil. And I don't use this all the time. I use this about twice a week. It comes with this kind of lovely little pipette applicator. And um, it's just gorgeous. A couple of drops of this on your face. And I like to kind of massage it in. And this just really gives your face a lovely glow. And it kind of helps boost your circulation and make everything look lovely. And it's just a fantastic, fantastic facial oil. My top recommendation. Then I've got two here that are kind of similar but something a bit different. The first one is by Raw, Raw Skincare and this is the Concentrate Skin Serum. This is 100% natural. Again, lovely packaging, comes with a little pipette applicator which is always cute. And this is kind of a lighter oil. It's not as moisturising. You could use this every day. I wouldn't use an oil during the day if you're going to go ahead and put makeup on afterwards. But an oil at night works tremendously well. And then another one I've got here is the Holly. Beth face and neck elixir. This is a thicker oil. This would be good if you had more mature skin or if you were slightly, um, your skin was on the slightly drier side, this would work better. But a really, really lovely, lovely oil and something you can really give your skin a nice massage and boost your circulation. Now we're moving with. on to hair oils. And again, if you've got very fine hair, you might be put off because you might think it'll weigh your hair down. But actually, I think hair oils have really come into their own um, at the moment and they're just a very kind of go-to product for a lot of people. You don't have to kind of be a beauty blogger to be using a hair oil anymore and they're very, very widely available. So the first one I've got is very affordable and again, very widely available and this is the L'Oreal El Vive Extraordinary Oil. They do a couple of different versions of this. I believe this is the one for dyed hair, but this is a really nice hair oil. It's not too oily. It's kind of more of a serum and that's something that you want to bear in mind when it comes to um, products for your hair that tend to be oil products. They don't really mean an actual oil. They tend to be 
kind of more on the serum side, like a lighter serum type of thing. They're pumped full of silicones, which if you're trying to stay away from, then you might not like these. I don't mind it in my hair. And this is really lovely. Again, pump action, couple of drops of this through the ends of your hair. Never put an oil at your roots unless you've got ridiculously dry hair, but this is a really great option. And then another one that's great if you've got hair like mine, if you've got curly hair, is the John Frieda Frizzy's Dream Curls Enhancing Oil. This is lovely as well, very um, lightweight and just helps to give a bit of hold to your hair. I featured this in my updated hair care routine. I've been using this a lot lately and I love it. And then last but not least, if you've got very, very fine hair, this is just a small sample that I've had and it's lasted me ages. And this is the Percy and Reed Volumizing No Oil Oil. This is really lovely because it's very, very thin. It isn't oily and it won't weigh your hair down. It'll just add that little bit of shine, that little bit of moisture to your hair, which is really fantastic. And they're great for adding shine, especially if you've got dark hair. If you've got blonde hair, that can be difficult to achieve shine. Um, but using a little bit of an oil or a little bit of a serum on your ends always helps everything look a little bit more tidy. In terms and of body care, I have a lot of oil products but I decided to kind of try and narrow it down and I chose my two favourites and my favourites are the Balance Me Super Toning Body Oil. This is a kind of unusual product, it's meant to kind of help tone your body and it does make everything just feel a little bit smoother and a little bit firmer, it's not going to kind of make you look like a Victoria's Secret model overnight but again really really easy to use and just really lovely. And then the second one is the Cordially Divine Oil, now this is actually a kind of star product because, because this is a multi-purpose product so you could use this on your hair you could use it on your face I like to use this on my body it comes with a kind of spray applicator um, I don't know why I always keep that tag I should just get rid of that but you can see I've kind of used a fair amount of this I'll spray it everywhere and it's very luxurious and you feel like you're kind of giving yourself a real treat the bottle of this is just gorgeous as well and um, if you use a little bit on your hair it's really lovely too and then I have got two of my favorite ever products I'm gonna save the best for last and this is bath oils my two favorite ever the bath oils are by Aromatherapy Associates. In fact, I love all their bath oils. I've never tried one that I didn't like. And these are fantastic. Um, this is the one I'm using at the moment. And the thing with this is I've probably had about five baths with this one and you need the tiniest amount. I know you kind of look at it and you think, yeah, right, but you need the tiniest amount, a small catful, and that's it. Your entire bathroom will be hugely, hugely fragranced by these. I've loved these for years. I think I started talking about these about two years ago, and I always feel a, a bit guilty recommending these because that was my phone. I always feel a bit guilty recommending these because they are very expensive, but they're worth every penny because they're just so potent. That's the Revive Morning one, and this is the Relax Light. I've actually got to finish one of these that I've got in my bathroom at the moment, and then I'm gonna start on this one, but really, really lovely, and would make a great kind of gift. So what you want to remember about using oils is try and go for things that tend to be kind of more natural and that are thinner texture. You don't want something really thick that's just gonna sit on your body. You know, gone are the, gone are the days where we thought baby oil was great for everything and really look into what you're buying kind of test the textures of things in shops and that kind of thing if you have testers and go for kind of more natural products if you're scared of kind of your skin getting a little bit of a weird reaction that kind of thing because oil can smother your skin a little bit and I find that using them at night is much more effective than using them in the daytime they're just too messy in the daytime and it's just much safer to use it at night and what more could you ask for them to have a lovely relaxing bath with something like this and then cover yourself in oil and put some pajamas on you'll just feel all pampered and amazing but those are my top recommendations for oil based products i hope you enjoyed this if you've got any that you really love let me know i'm sure there's loads that i like that i haven't mentioned here but i try to narrow it down and mention the ones i really do love and use often so let me know what your favorites are and don't forget to give the video a big big thumbs up if you liked it and if you've got any other video requests then pop those down below as well and i'll see you all in my next video Okay.